So I've been going about three days without using my Dexacom G4 because I wanted to make a video to show everybody on um, both my YouTube and my blog how exactly it works. Um, I've been getting quite a bit of questions about it too, so I figured a video would make sense for everybody. Simply put, um, my seven day blood sugar readings have gone up and they have not been all that great. Um, my seven day average blood sugar was 186 and my 14 day blood sugar reading, which was when I was using my Dexacom, was 160. So obviously that affects your A1C levels, that affects, um, you know, everything, everything that goes along with dealing with type 1 diabetes. So I guess that proves a point that my Dexacom CGM does help me control my blood sugar levels and maintain a more balanced blood sugar reading. Now this is the Dexacom CGM uh, receiver. It's a gray chip. It clips into the inside of a sensor pod. Now this is the one that I just took off. Um, you can see that it's got a little um, it's not even a needle, it's more like a piece of wire that goes into your skin, um, lays just underneath the surface, and that's what actually is checking your blood sugar and giving yourself, giving, um, your receiver a number, uh, or a reading of your blood sugar levels. This piece just clips into here, just like that. All you do is push it down, and you hear the little click, and that's, um, what is attached to my skin for seven days on average. Um, they say that it can be left in longer, although they, Dexacom does not recommend you do that. Um, this is what actually costs me money monthly. Um, I pay for a box of about four of these, and um, you know that's what you pay for for the Dexacom. Now this is the Dexacom receiver, and I think this is the best part about Dexacom. It kind of looks like an old uh, MP3 player, old iPod, and uh, yeah. But um, it also tells you like when your blood sugars are rising quickly or dropping fast. So if you were exercising and your blood sugars started to drop really fast afterwards, um, it would vibrate to alert you, just you know, so that you don't get alerted when you're low and you're thinking you're like 140 already. Um, I've gotten this maybe a little over a month ago. This is the old uh, 7 Plus system. It's a lot bigger, if you can't really tell, and it's a lot um, wider. This system is garbage and I can't really do anything with this anymore, so whatever, I have it to show you guys, but this is the new G4 system, and now I'm going to show you how to use it and how to put on a new sensor. So before we get started, you need to make sure you have a couple things. First, alcohol swabs. Uh, and I say this over and over and over again because you don't want to get some sort of infection while you have on a uh, sensor. You want to make sure that you have the, um, the transmitter applicator, I guess is what it's called. Um, this is, ultimately, this is this little doodad, and it's how you put it on. So it gets thrown out anyways, but you get four of these packages in a box every time that you order from Dexacom. So I always open it all the way open and actually leave it down sitting right on my table so that um, you know I don't get any sort of problems or anything any sort of diseases or anything when I'm doing it so I gotta fix the tape on these because they always get squished in the packages but so to start you just grab these little tabs and rip them off And of course, I forgot to wipe myself down, so use your little handy dandy alcohol swab here. I'm going to put it on my stomach right now. 
just gonna wipe the whole area down. You also have to make sure that you don't have any tattoos or any scarring around the area just so there's no sort of infection. Um, I have worn it on my back even though I have tattoos all the way down my back. But you just take the little, it's sticky now. And you take this and you stick it to your skin. To make sure that all the sides are down. Now this is, you gotta pull this um, device off. Um, and I usually hold on to that afterwards too because it's easy to get these out. And I'll show you that in a second. But this is the part that hurts. You gotta push this lever down and pull this up at the same time while pinching skin. So it can be a little bit difficult. Um, and sometimes it hurts. Now you pull that back and then there's two little clips on the edge here. You hold down to release it. Now, usually this device is in an old device and you gotta remove it from it so this is the way it's originally supposed to be usually I'll just take this and I'll clip it into there to push it out push the receiver out because the levers can be difficult sometimes so then you need the receiver and you stick that in and there's a little tab over here that you push down and you can hear it click in and then you can just remove that and so that is all set up and now we need to tell our um, device that we want to start a new sensor and now it's reading wirelessly reading to it and you have to wait about three hours um, to for it to tell you to put in blood sugar readings to find out what a good level is. Usually, I suggest doing it when your blood sugar levels are at like a steady pace. So the last thing we need to do now is to calculate your receiver to make sure that it knows what your blood sugar levels are. And um, this thing was just vibrating at me. It's got two little red dots telling me that I need to put a blood sugar reading in. As of right now. I haven't checked my blood sugar in like two hours, so I'm not 100% accurate what my blood sugar level would be. And my meter is reading that my blood sugar is 126. So I'm going to go to the main menu and hit enter BG and put in 126, hit enter. One of my blood sugar readings is done. Now, Usually I wait about 15 minutes before checking again and putting in another number. So after you put in the first two blood sugar readings, um, it'll start to show you a graph of exactly where your blood sugars have been. This is my three hour graph as of right now. Um, as you can see, my blood sugar is at 120 and it's dropping, uh, which means it's time for me to eat breakfast. But um, anyways, you can you can hit the down button and you'll actually see a graph of where your blood sugars have been over the last 12 hours or so. Um, for me right now, it's only been about 10 hours since I originally put the pot on. So therefore, um, you, you, you're you missing a little piece at the beginning of the graph. But eventually, it'll go all the way through. I guess Dexacom now has a new system where you can download a... Um, a tracker onto your computer and you can input all of your blood sugars so you can see trends and um, you know see like exactly when your blood sugars are high when they're low um, and follow some trends with your blood sugars I have a Mac and it's not compatible at the moment so give it a try and uh, if you do use it and want to share some information with me let me know alright and if you have any other questions comment below Thanks.